the neighborhood. See what we can find out here today. This is the biggest lake we got. We have two more on the other side of the development. Cable's been taken off. Don't take more. 
more than what you're physically able to carry. Leave it for the next guy. Yeah, right. show you the guys that oh that's a stop sign there um it's got cast aluminum on it most of the motor and the water pump itself is cast aluminum so the job site said the damn thing just quit it stopped working so we threw it out and bought another one man i wish i could do stuff like that oh it stopped working i'll just go buy another one yeah. No, I ain't got money like that. I got to try to fix it before I can throw it out. another lake that they use as a beach and then further past the beach is a small small lake that they use basically for the kids and the fishing derbies for the younger kids so we got two swimming pools in this development three basketball courts and a community center a lot of deer a lot of bear and a lot of pain in the asses that come over here on their holiday vacations and their winter, their um, weekend vacations from out of state. This is the main strip. This, this development actually is built within two different counties, Monroe County and Carbon County. idiots get to you, forget about it. As they say, when there's an emergency and you call the police, they're only 7 to 10 minutes away. Your sidearm, well, that's a whole nother story. Now the security in here, they think they're cops. They try to act like cops. Hell, they even use their radars in here. They're, the main road I'm on now is a 25 mile speed limit road, which is, I mean, you can see how small it is. And the kids are always up and down. So that's great. But these guys literally, like, they'll make a little hole in the woods there and back up into it. And then use a radar. Just like cops. gonna head over to the other side of the development where I live because I'm running out of time this morning it's already 8:52 Monday morning the 16th and like I said before I gotta get some parts for my truck and the four-wheel drive uh, store opens up at 9 so I got to get my butt rolling down that way Living where I do, everything, every main store, 
is minimum half hour away. I go down the street to ShopRite, and that's a half hour down the mountain. I go to Walmart in Mount Popano, that's a half hour east. I go up towards Scranton, that's 45 minutes to an hour north. I go over towards Hazleton, that's 33 miles west. So, it sucks living up here in the mountains. But Monday through Thursday, it's great. Friday and Saturday, I wish I didn't live here at all. Sunday, everybody's going back. end of the development you'll come to the other gate on the Carbon County side or remodeling something or something of another because I've been finding a lot of uh, um, like light fixtures for those tuck away lights whatever they are that go up into a ceiling um, a couple of uh, nail guns air nail guns I don't think they work though I tried it with my tank they didn't even power up so they'll be scrapped A few things that here and there, wires. Well, today they got rid of the couches. I don't want no couches. No couches for me. 
Ooh, especially filled with all kinds of that dog or cat hair, whatever that was. I gotta turn around and go back. I thought I saw something the other way. But from afar, something looked good, and from close, it's garbage. <laughs>
uh, 90% cardboard style ironing board so I'll leave it there trash man can have that one here for now hope you enjoyed my very 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 short trip going around the neighborhood thanks for watching comment leave a like share it out if you like I'll see you on the next one show you the uh, water pump in the back. you guys doing out there hope your week is uh, starting off pretty good
dishwasher here. Does it have the cable? Nope, no cables, and I don't have room for a dishwasher right now. very limited on what you can take when you have a small car. That's wood. Right out here today. 8:23 in the morning, 52 degrees, but it's still a beautiful morning. A little chilly, but still beautiful overall. It's supposed to be a nice day today. No rain in the forecast. Now this house over here on the left. Last winter, I found three desktops that I literally had to chisel out. I had to chisel out. Oh, and there's another PC. Another one. I'm definitely taking that. Let's take this so you can see. Definitely taking the PC. It's still got some good stuff in it. this is but I'll take it. It looks like it's got some copper in there. <sighs> There's a motor right there. That's some metal. Ouch. That hurt. Bed frames. there's glass on there and I don't want to mess 
us with that glass. Alright, that's good enough for me. Speaking of computers last winter, and I find another one in the same place. They must really go through computers. 